Hey, what is up, guys? I thought I would do a uh, profit here, actually. Uh, you may have not heard from me in a while, but uh, I'm back. I was sick for a very, very, very long time. And when I am not sick, I am back here giving you videos to enjoy yourself. So, um, I will show you Noble Knights as the box set has been released, I think it was last week ago, or two weeks ago. Uh, at least two, three weeks ago. Um, uh, with the new support of Last Chapter, Bedouin and Merlin, the card that makes the deck even more consistent than what it already is. But, um, thought I'd show you on here, and then I will give you a deck profile um, tomorrow of how the deck works. So, um, that is a decent opening hand. I think I can get unstoppable monster out again, so... For those of you who haven't seen Problem Nights before, or never heard of them because you've been sleeping under a rock, um, or you're better players than that don't deserve to see them, um, it's basically a deck where you bring out a monster that takes about three attacks to kill it, well, three attempts to kill it, can't be targeted, and it's a 2-7 beater, which... Everybody loves a 2-7 beater. No matter who the hell you are. So, I'm going to... What the hell? Right... So that's crashing my computer. Um, so I'm gonna bring out my Madrow. And then I'm gonna equip this to Madrow, which usually the combo would be better if I had a card that could re equip, like Caliburn or Destiny or Alpha, or whatever it's called. I, it's just a bad card pronouncing. It's, it's somewhere in here. I'll, I'll show you guys later. Um, the really horrible one that that nobody on this planet that I know of can pronounce. Um, but then I'm going to activate Gwenefer's effect. Um, so Bor's effect. Uh, basically, Bowser's effect is like a double foolish with a free searched um, on the top, which no one can moan at. So I'm going to banish this, this, and this, and this basically is the combo to make the unstoppable monster. Um, so, one, two. Destiny, one, two, cow, three, four, oh, five, six, uh, roll die. Yes, it's called a die, right? Don't judge me. It's called a die. Uh, it's supposed to be picked at random, so my opponent's supposed to roll the die to make it an opponent pick. Uh, to make my opponent think that they're actually doing something to this deck, which they're not really. Um, and the rest go to grave. And then it quit on So they're both now level 5s because they both have noble arms attached to them. And then I just, oh, um, no, first, Cal effect to gain 500 life points. And then I'm just going to overlay them both to make the biggest noble knight I've got, Sacred King of Autogus. Then that falls off, but the rest of them all get and then all these 
just re-echo back onto him if they bloody did that. Uh, yeah, this, they would all re-equip and then he can't be targeted. Basically, he equips these three from the grave to himself for his own ability and um, that falls off but then it re-equips itself back onto him. Cal effect again. Uh, so then that will come back as a new card and then I can gain another 500 life points. So now I have a monster that takes two attacks to kill, well two times to kill it. Uh, it's on 2-7, can't be targeted and once a turn I can make it lose 500 pop back row. Uh, off when I overlay him so I can use facts again. Yeah, since it comes back as a new card, you can do it again. It's like the whole thing with... Um, I, he's played this before, so now it can be targeted. Damn. Please tell me you do not have a soul exchange. Okay. He did his homework on Noble Knights. Damn. Something's telling me this might be Junks? Maybe Junks? Maybe because of the Dandy and the Yusei, but... Just... a sort of guess. Yep, it's Junks. Um... So... What are you gonna make, then? Okay, Ally of Justice Catasta, which is going to do nothing to him. Yeah, Catasta's just going to die. Um, okay, I've got Merlin now. Um... Gwen effect equip onto Targus. Um, she's basically a noble arms when you need her. Um, so that's now on skein. That's on three K now. Um, King effect. King's effect. That Catasta was nothing. You cannot stand up to the almighty power of the sacred. Novel Night King thing. And then attack for 3k. Uh, oh yeah, game. Game 500. Um... It's only 3,000. I wish it was 3,5. I honestly wish it was 3,5. Um, Cal effect. Gain 500. And this is all the deck really does. The, the main card that actually kills this deck is Jack Frost because A, it doesn't target. B, it sets it so all my noble arms go to the grave. And C, it's just... But who plays Ghost Tricks, so I do not have to worry. Hopefully. Um, quick, no, Jinx and Grun again. Quick draws level 5. I can't have to. Spell Striker. Okay. Um. Cal, Cal effect, game 500. 
Um, what do I actually have in the grave? I have them in the grave. So, King Effect to blow up Trigodia. Um, can attack for 3k, but that's it. Um, I don't want to waste my. Um, yeah, I'll actually use Merlin's fight. Um, to get brothers. Um, Noble Knight Brothers, and this is just part of our risk. This was, however, the only card that wasn't um released in the box set. So because of that, it went up to something like a twenty pound card, or if you're American, about twenty five dollars or something like that. I don't know the conversion over there. I'm just, I'm just British. I'm sorry. Uh, but this jumped up to about fifteen twenty pound card. Uh, which I don't really see why you only run one of it, and also that is actually nice. But also, before the box actually came out, no one looked at Middle Knights, and you could pick these up for about five quid, which was really, really dirt cheap. Right. Take it back row? Yeah. Uh, I do not have to worry about really anything. Yeah, I've got this in the clearing. <clears throat> and that's actually really nice. Um this is one of the other support cards that was released on Bedwar. Um, but it's I don't even, I'm not even gonna use its effect because I don't need to. I'm just going to make play on and tell them that. So that was Noble Knights in the quickest game I've seen. Um. So. What do I actually need to take? What do I want to take out? Don't need to take out anything really. Um, yeah, that seems fine. To be honest, I would actually want to run two ups out goblins in this deck, but I'm, I'm basing this around the actual deck I own in real life, and I'm, I'm too poor to own up starts. Well, I am not a card vendor, so I do not own that kind of money to go out and just splash the dot for starts. Yes, I am like most of you out there watching these. Um, I am dirt poor. Well, not dirt poor, but um, don't really want to go out and spend money on stuff. I'd rather just go to locals and then just win it. Uh, Astral or something like that. So I can actually pull off the combo again, which is nice. Um, I actually originally didn't like Merlin at three. Because the third one was dead, but then I kind of thought I'd rather have a dead Merlin in hand than being dead myself. And the fact I've got Gwen in hand, that's just a plus. Because it means I don't need to use Boz's effect of um, send, well, targeting Gwen and potentially getting her to my hand, which... I don't mind her in my hand, but I would prefer Noble Arms. But the deck really only has one major combo. Re, uh, re, e, wait, on top, ors, uh, ors, effect. So I'm going to send. This to the grave, this to the grave, and the one-off uh, 
Excaliburn. Now, the only reason I run three Caliburns and one... Um, well, three Caliburns and one Excaliburn is because Excaliburn doesn't actually equip, and I'd rather have the 500 life points every turn from Caliburn, as well as... Um, Oh, um, the extra attack. So, and use King's Effect, King, King's Effect to detach, to pop one other monster on the field. Um, I don't need to equip Gwenifer to him because he's probably not going to die. Um, so I'm gonna attack. I don't actually, th I don't think Junks actually run back row of the sorts, really. But do they run as back row? So, or maybe they just run royal decrees themselves. Depends on his variant, but. I'm not sure specifically what to side against, what I was, had to side against him with. Shall I gear? Okay. Uh, Mm. Oh, damn, forgot about that Vela. So he could make the Cataster. He can't, that Miss Bird Classes would do him no good right now, so he's gonna make the. Junk Warrior, and then hopefully, mm, at least I don't have to fear first Junk Warrior, so that, that is a bastard to get past. That is the most annoying thing in the world I've ever had to go, ooh, Librarian. No, that is the most difficult thing I've ever had to go, come across. So please do not make that Quasar, actually. I'd be able to get past Quasar, <coughs> even if he made it. I hate you. I'd be able to get past the first turn Quasar, hopefully. Yeah, I should be able to get past the first turn Quasar. Um, if I veiled it, no. Uh, if he made Quasar, I'd be crying, because it would be able to attack twice, and Togs can only take one hit. And I'm going to Vela that. No, you do not. But I could have actually stopped all that if I paid attention and used damn Vela on Junk Synchron, but my own fault for not paying attention and talking to you people. So, 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 so. Clear for lots of damage. I'm gonna get my 500 again. Yay! More life points. And then. Now, Quasar can't kill this bastard. Hmm. Effect, detach, pop that. Because this can take three hits now. So, unless he's going to do that thing in the anime where he makes Quasar with five monsters, which that cannot happen, hopefully, in reality. Um, 
Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm not gonna fear that guy, so I fear no evil. So let us see what you've got. If they were gonna release his paw instead of Bedouard, like one that actually bled, well, I'm not actually sure what I want. But I'd actually think that they would be better if they released a support car that would stop things like Tiara Masu or something like that, where they lose five hundred attack to make to negate a monster effect or something like that. But Konami would think that's too overpowered. Blade is not going to do anything to me. At most, it's just going to irritate me. Oh, uh, so. You'd actually have to get rid of it. Okay, that is annoying. <laughs> well, that would be. Um, that token doesn't have a lot of attack, because he dropped that when I dealt, uh, when I dealt 500, so that token isn't on a lot of attack. Yeah, if he was going to do it, he should have done it on the Guinevere, except he dropped Gauze when I attacked TG Hyper Librarian, which I don't think you can do that. As far as I'm aware, it's got to be something like a direct attack to drop Gauze. So that tokens on very little. Mm, and he's popped, he's attempted to pop a card. That re equips. If he was going to attempt to get past that, he would have to get rid of Gwenifer. Because it would drop it down to 27, where Blader would be able to run over it. But the token that I don't think is supposed to be there to begin with wouldn't be able to touch it. So. Yeah, I don't think he should have been able to drop that gauze, except I'm not gonna... Yeah, um, I don't think he should have been able to drop that gauze. So, Blader and the token shouldn't be there, but I'm not moaning. So, uh... What now, sir? Because I'm just going to be gaining life points. And you're going to keep dying. Um, okay. 
Okay, I'm 500 life points again. And then I'm gonna run over that Crimson Blader. Wait, does Crimson Blader even affect me? Not really. Um, But I'd like the actual, this one to be a Dark Exceed, because that would actually abuse Gwenifer's effect more, but the Synchro that they invented was Dark, except they would use the Synchro more if the deck had a better tuner. It's not the, I don't like the fact that Lady of the Lake, it brings back a vanilla monster, but it's because it brings only back a vanilla monster. Uh, I would prefer if they just brought back a Noble Knight or something like that. Because then people would run it more. And the fact that the support of the deck more consisted around the um, exceeding factor of the deck. Instead of the... Uh, synchro parts. So... Um, I didn't want to run... The two tuners that I got used to in the past. Uh, I don't actually run any of the, in this build. And most, what I would like to do is bump Gwen up to two. Well, I even actually do that. I would uh, want to put in like upstarts or things like that. But I like the build currently at what it is. Okay, is there a love light that I should? Oh, Junk Destroyer. Right, um... Okay, it gets to pop two cards on the field. Gwen's effect would save it, um... It'd only be able to pop two cards on the field and no matter what Targus is staying. This is what I love about this deck. You bring out a monster that is very difficult to kill. Point granted, killer or towers, I prefer killer, would actually kill this with ease. But it isn't that simple to get rid of Targus. Well, the only way I can actually think of getting past killer is if you had a Caliburn, Gallatin. And, um, yeah, that's really it. Caliburn and Gallatin equipped to it. N yeah, and a Gwen as well to kill Killer. Um, because it would just be over Killer's attack and be able to do something to him. But besides that. Um, okay. Anything? Yeah, that's actually going to help me because I wanted to play that zone ages ago. and that's on 27 so yeah I think in the back of his mind he's thinking that's 3k and so I'm just going to gain my life points 500 um I'm going to sell that Um, the, uh, that's on 27, so I don't need to worry. So, 
gonna summon this. Uh, Gwen's effect. I'm gonna equip it onto him. Uh, I'm putting all my to my hand if I need to. I don't think I need one <laughs> to be honest. Um, so run over that. Gwen only stops from spells and traps, right? Okay, and then run over that. So I think he's picturing that's on 3k. Um, but even uh, it's too late in the game to even say anything. Right now, I think he would want to take less damage, so uh, he's still wanting to have at it with me. Um. What's he gonna make? Um, make the token lose some and make a level six. Or you can make Star Eater, actually. Token seven. Now Leo, he'd make Le he can make Leo, and attempt to do. So, yeah, lands actually targets. Damn it, and do some damage to me. Well, he could have actually made Star Return if he had it. Well, I'm going to play two things here. I'm going to play an MST, Bin Lance. But yeah, I still have game there. Tell me what you guys think of Noble Knights. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it always makes me happy to know that people actually watch this and other things. Um, so thanks guys for watching. Profit signing out now. Peace.